Woo! Roll tracks. I'm Bobby Little Bullets. Your paranormal shock jock. Your DJ. Your outlaw. The number one bad boy paranormal. And this is Wolf Tracks, my show, my way. I have no boss. I have no bosses. I do what I want, when I want, where I want. You don't like it? Two words. Two words, guys. You don't like it? Suck. All right. Let me give my disclaimer right quick. You don't like what you see. You don't like what you hear, the topics, the language. Hell, the equipment. By God, turn me off. But if you like the topics, the language... The language, whatever, the equipment. My God, turn me on. That goes out to the ladies. <laughs> I've had a few already. I'm about five deep in a 12 pack. So uh, keep up. And welcome to Wolf Tracks, everyone. Welcome to Wolf Tracks. Anyway, I got a bone to pick with Animal Planet or Discovery or whoever in the hell. Don't let y'all see my eyes. God knows I'm pretty. Yes, and thanks to the emails. Yes, the ladies. Yes, my hair is getting longer, and so is the goatee. <laughs> ah, wolf's got hair. Tough. Anyway, um, they did something on the mermaid thing again. I don't know. Oh, by the way, I like wild blue. Wild blue. Boy, it's a good. Ah, it's a great beer. It's a. It's a great beer. And that one's dead. Keep up, guys. Keep up with the wolf. Anyway, they had, uh, about a year ago, they had something called Body of Evidence, Mermaid's Body of Evidence. And it was called, it was described as a mockumentary. Even Animal Planet said that it was, well, just for entertainment purposes only. And uh, they speculated the uh, aquatic ape theory about how um, we... As humans uh, decided to go from land to uh, the water. Some of us went to the water. Some of us went to the land. Oh, nothing burps like beer, right, guys? Anyway, so there's something called the aquatic ape theory. Now, they say that, I don't know, orcas are descendants of a wolf-type race. And polar bears were a brown bear race that went to the water and blah, 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 whatever. Well, all right, now look. The first show a year ago had CGI work. Uh, they showed what they thought what the mer people would look like. Mermen, women, whatever. And how they evolved with webbing between their fingers and toes and all that goofy shit. All right, now I'm not a doubter, but I, I you got to open your eyes. you got to think. Open your mind. Open open your open your eyes. Don't believe everything you see, guys. All right, you got to look at this stuff for what it is. I mean, the CGI work they did on the first one was good stuff. I mean, the kids who's, who had the phone video, and oh, my God, I recorded it on my phone, and, and there's a mer person on the beach with some mass beaching of whales, and bullshit. Okay, it's, it's all bullshit. And I'll prove it. Now, you've got to understand that. Um, hang on, let me get a let me get an album up. Let me get uh, something to listen to here. All right. Anyway, you got mer people supposedly. Now these mer people. Um, these mer people or whatever supposedly exist due to the aquatic ape theory. Now, we went to the water, we got an ex, I mean, our, our spleen got larger supposedly so we could dive, our ribs are collapsible or compressible or some stupid, I don't know, and our spine is real flexible unlike anything else and blah, 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 like the show said. Now, the second show shows three videos. Apparently, there's someone in Iraq, or I'm sorry, Iran, Iraq, somewhere over in the Middle East. Israel, that's it. It's Israel. Anyway, this mayor, whatever the hell his name is, 
offers a million dollars to video or picture proof of a mer person. Now, they show two Americans that videotape a mer person sunning himself or herself on a rock and dives into the water. Funny how the mer person, or person, female, male, whatever, a mermaid, looks just like the CGI work on the first episode, Bodies Found. Kind of odd. You would think there'd be some deviants or some variables in that that uh, we didn't expect or would be different in the actual mermaid. But no, the actual mer person that dives in the water looks just like the CGI work on the first show a year ago. Weird. That's kind of a neat coincidence. It's bullshit. It's fake. All right. Now, the second video, horrible, freaking horrible, is a British Coast Guard video. They're doing something on a rib, which is some sort of boat, and they're going out on a call. It's like a training exercise to rescue a drowning person at sea during the night, and blah, 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 and whatever. Well, now, the video shows them using spotlights to find whoever's in the water. Now, according to the ass on the film, General or Sergeant or whoever, butt wipe, decides to tell everybody that it was part of their blah, blah, blah training exercise. They were supposed to go A to B and rescue a, a practice dummy, and, and they found a seal. The video is so CGI, it's sick. The spotlight all of a sudden picks up eye shine on some creature in the water. And then it dives in. <gasps> and it has a crest on its head. And it apparently is exactly like the, uh, the CGI work or the speculative uh, artist rendition of a mer person. Okay, the general public can't be that stupid. You can't be that stupid. You can't be that thick. Now, you're going to say, Bobby, why do you doubt this song? Because it's obvious. All right? The third video, and I'll prove why it's obvious later on. I'll prove it. Have faith in the wolf. Have faith. I know you want me to believe in paranormal and cryptozoology and Bigfoot and Yeti and El Chupacabra. And all that shit. But, okay. You've got to show me proof. Just like everybody else on the planet. I've got to see tangible proof. Okay? Sorry, it's tangible. I've had one too many of these. About five deep in a 12-pack. <laughs> Anyhow. Now. The third video sighting. <laughs> these things are just bad. Yeah, they're bad. All right, you've ever been to the Atlanta Zoo? There's a walk-through aquarium. Now, this third video shows these guys videoing. One guy is facing the front of this supposed sub. The other guy is facing backwards. Now, there supposedly there was some geological, some BS society, whatever, and they survey and make sure there's no animals that are there to hurt, to, to, to be hurt when they set off their sonar and ooh, big suspense and whatever. Now, they take their video cameras down there to show their families since they're gone for such long lengths of time. All the neat stuff they see, glowing fish and squid and whatever the hell else is down there. Now, the problem I have with this video, and I don't know if you saw this or not, but watch it and see. The guy facing you, filming towards the back of the sub. All right, now, he does this. Now, I'm going to show you my eyes, just so you can see this, okay, guys? He's holding the video camera, and he's looking back, like I'm looking at you now. He's holding the video camera, and he's he's waiting for the bloop, the, the impact of this mer person or whatever. And he does this. He looks off to the side before it happens, meaning he knows it's coming. He knows the impact is coming. He, his eyes move. Now, I don't care who you are. I don't care what kind of, that's a failure. Epic failure. Epic fail. You knew it was coming. 
you knew there was going to be some sort of impact. You knew this mer person was going to touch your sub. Now, if you knew the mer person was going to touch your sub, that red flags it to death, meaning fake. Also, apparently P.T. Barnum had some sort of mermaid, something or other, Burmese, Tibetan, something. It was a monkey torso to sewn onto a fish body. Okay, yippee. Supposedly he bought something called the Real Mermaid. Now, if you watch this show, this jackass gets on there, and he's an expert in carnival something or other, and sideshow, this, that, and the other. Yeah. Cream of the crop kind of guy. Now, he shows a ad for a banner or poster or some, something stupid. Now, if you look at this thing, the ink is so fresh on this, and it's so crisp, and it doesn't look like it's aged at all. Now, get this. This banner came from the Civil War, the time period around the Civil War. It would show some age. It shows no age. And weirdly enough, it's a coincidence. God, we got to believe it. Because it's on paper. The mermaid looks just like the CGI version on the first show. Wow, neat coincidence. And then all of a sudden, on the anniversary of P.T. Barnum's weird freak show, they find pictures of the mermaid in the cylinder he was kept in. Now, the weird thing is, it's posed with so hands up against the glass and has all the webbing, and it, this is up against the chest, and it has the little thing on the top, and the manatee flipper at the bottom, and wow, it looks just like the CGI artist rendition of a mermaid. How much of a coincidence is that? Can we say fake? Okay, I don't know about anybody else. But I've been to the fair. You, every city has a local fair. And there's cameras. They have you dress up in the time era of these cowboys or gamblers or whatever. And it's a black and white photo with like yellowish, make it look old and everything. You're telling me this couldn't be doctored. You're telling me that they couldn't put this in. This couldn't be photoshopped. Okay, the first documentary has already been labeled a fake, a mockumentary. Now, everybody's believing the second one. Ooh, new evidence found. No, it's fake. Sorry. And this is how I'll prove it. I'm sorry, but this is, this is, this is going to be the nail in the coffin. If there was such thing as mer people or mermaids, and we had proof they existed, like video proof or pictures, number one, it would not be only televised on Animal Planet or Discovery. It would be on every news network, on every channel, in every country, on every continent, on the planet. Okay? That's how big a news this is. If it's a relative of the human race that chose the sea as its habitat and we discovered it, it wouldn't be a mockumentary on the Animal Planet or Discovery Channel. It would be on CNN, Fox. It would be on every, it'd be in every newspaper, every web news cast, every channel of the news, every continent, every city around the world. Okay, now, also, to prove my point, immediately laws would be put in place. Now you're asking yourself, Bobby the Wolf Mullins, what laws would that be? Now if there was such thing as mer people, mermaids, and this bloop signature, according to the first one, attracted them during their spawning or their migration to the warmer waters so they could eat and feed and hunt. And this guy, this doctor, supposedly this Robinson guy, him and his team attracted them and they swam around the boat. Don't you think other people would be using this flute signature with underwater sound equipment to attract them? There would be laws in place to prevent us and make it illegal against the law worldwide to hunt mermaids. 
Because if this race existed, people would hunt them religiously and without end to prove they exist. There would be mer people heads on walls. There would be stuffed mermaids on walls like your swordfish against your fireplace. Think about it. Use your brain. I told you to think on this show. Think. If there was a new race undiscovered, the hunters of this planet, every country worldwide, would hunt these things religiously. There would be stuffed mer people everywhere. You could buy them on eBay. Now, since those laws aren't in effect, okay, since those aren't in effect, and since the major news networks didn't cover a discovery of a new race of humanoid beings, not just a new species, but humanoid, meaning there are descendants. It's fake. Wake up, people. Wake up. There is... I'm sorry. If they exist, fine. But I don't think they do. And as far as Animal Planet and Discovery, I think you ought to boycott them. That's, that's crap. It's all crap for ratings. That's all it is. It's, it's a job by some exec to go, hey, let's get ratings. Let's do something with mer people with a little CGI work. Like I said in one of my previous shows, it's hard enough to prove paranormal exists. Ghosts, whatever you believe in, Bigfoot, El Chupacabra, Yeti, Loch Ness, whatever the hell you believe in, it's hard enough to prove that you're a legit investigator without some jackass doing something stupid like a mockumentary to disprove everything you've worked so hard for. This show undermines everything anybody in the paranormal works for. Hell, even the announcer was fake. I've done my Robert Mullins of the BBMP, but I'm boring with it. Yes! He's the same guy. He's a paid actor. And people are buying this hook, line, and sinker. No pun intended on the Mer people thing. But you can't be that thick, people. Think about it. Ooh, nothing burps like beer. Now I gotta have more of it. And you're listening to Tesla, one of my favorite bands. Anyway. And yes, YouTube, I own the damn CD. So, two words. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna get off here. I've vented as much as I can on this mer person, mer people, mermaid thing. I just hope I made you think a little bit. I got a fan that believes it wholeheartedly, and I hope. I hope to God I've swayed her on this because this is fake beyond belief. This is horribly fake. And it's so cheesy, it's not even funny. The coincidences or the uh, the, the uh, things that are similar to the original show in the films on the second show are too much alike. They're too coincidental. They're too just... It, it can't be that you can't guess what something looks like, and it actually looks like that. Okay, so remember, my show is to make you think. Look, remember, guys, open your mind, open your eyes, and open your ears. Pay attention. Pay attention to what walks by, crawls by, flies by, or slithers by. And if you get a picture of it, send it to old Bobby the Wolf Mullins. And remember, this is a product of GTN, Ghost Tales Television Network .com. Go to him for all your paranormal superstition needs. And remember, Bobby the Wolf Mullins is on Immortal Truth Radio. I'm the host with my co-host, Starla Lincoln. Likens. Lincoln's Likens. Look, guys. Five deep in a 12-pack. Give me a break. Ooh, another burps like beer. Now, tune in to Immortal Truth Radio every Monday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Blog Talk Radio. Look for Immortal Truth Paranormal Radio. And you'll see, you'll hear the wolf. And my femme wolf, the rose and the, this whole garden of thorns, start a likens and uh, tune in. Never know what we're going to do. 
God knows I'll be tossing down a few of these. Guys, look, I'm going to get off here. I think I've vented as much as I'm going to. And remember, on three, guys, one, two, three. Holla at your boy!